When seconds count, District 186 is trying to scrounge up money to pay for EpiPens in case a student experiences a severe allergic reaction. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard is live in studio to show us how this device works and tell us what the concerns are. Kimberly. Liz, it's as simple as taking off the cap and pressing your thumb firmly and then pushing the EpiPen into the thigh. This basically injects adrenaline, which does raise blood pressure but can save a life. Doctors, parents, and school officials say it's a no-brainer. First, they need money and to get some through some legal red tape. At a quarter after two, parents sit waiting. The sound of insects keeping them company. Kaylee, my daughter actually goes here, actually had to use one about two years ago. I'm on a BC. You just push this against it and it shoots up. An EpiPen used to stop severe allergic reactions, whether it be to a bug or something you ate for lunch. 10% of children have some type of food allergy. Dr. Glennon Paul is an allergist. He says symptoms can spiral out of control quickly. Your lips blow up, you get hives all over, you uh, get lightheaded, you faint. You can't breathe. But if you get your hand on an EpiPen, you can save a life. So there's really not any downside. The only thing is the cost. A pair of EpiPens can cost more than $100. And while it suggested they be used by school nurses, there are only 16 RNs for District 186's 35 schools. We want those EpiPens readily available. The school board has been working on getting grants to pay for the life-saving devices, all the while sifting through liability laws, making sure any able adult is legally allowed to administer an EpiPen when it's seconds that count. So this would still have them secured in a location, but they will not be locked with a key. But they will cost $15,000. That's, I mean, that's a wonderful idea to have it. Money many parents say will be well spent. Like, I mean, you can die from an, an allergic reaction. So anything to make it quicker. And District 26 has determined if a nurse is not available, another adult can administer an EpiPen to a student experiencing an extreme allergic reaction. They're just surveying their options in terms of those grants so they can get the devices at every school. Liz. Thanks, Kimberly. Doctors say EpiPens do expire, so renewing the devices is another cost the district will have to battle. Doctors say extreme food allergies are most common during this time of year because people's immune systems are already dealing with high amounts of ragweed in the air.